So you're looking forward to get started with your cloud journey. After looking at a few YouTube videos, you realize there are three major cloud contenders in the market. The first one is AWS, of course, from Amazon. The second one is Azure, which is from Microsoft. And the third one is Google Cloud. Now you realize that, hey, I would love to get started with Amazon AWS, but you could have chosen another as well. But this video is specifically focused on the people who are having a confusing mindset uh, because people who are not having knowledge in the cloud, they obviously are ready to get started and train with the very first foundational exam, certified cloud practitioner. But people who are having a developer skill and developer knowledge, that's where the confusion start. Because you realize that, hey, I know what is an EC2. I also know what is the storage bucket. I also know a little bit basics about handling even the APIs or even the Fargate Beanstalk. So there are things which I use in daily life and daily basis. And you consulted with some of the people who are ahead in your cloud journey and all are saying the same thing. That, hey, you know what? The cloud certified cloud practitioner is a too much of a basic exam. You should probably skip that. Go for either associate developer exam or probably you can directly go for something specialty like networking or something. But let me tell you, there is a unique perspective and unique advantage of becoming a certified cloud practitioner. Yes, you know services about EC2. Yes, you know about the buckets. But there are a lot of things which you probably don't know about uh, the AWS services that are offered. And that's the goal of this exam. The exam is not meant for people for having a specialized skill, but actually this exam is centered and is directional towards knowing the breadth of AWS, which is in itself is a big job. The goal of this exam is not to have in-depth knowledge about each service, but actually to know what all services are offered by AWS. And that's where it shines. AWS offers so much of these services that even the veterans who have been using for it three years, four years, five years don't know, oh, this is a new service about AWS that we can do all these things just with a click of button. And that's where the cloud practitioner exam shines. So people who are thinking that I can just walk in the park and will clear this exam with the flying colors. No, you won't. Let me give you an example of that. Yes, you know about what is EC2, you know about what is storage, but do you know what is Honeycode? Do you know what is AWS Wavelength, Cloud9, AWS Amazon Bracket, Device Farm? What is Amazon AWS Mace? What is AWS LightSail? What is AWS Sumerian? There are a lot of such services which you don't use in your daily day to life. And probably there are very unique specialized startups and companies which require these services, but still they do exist. And that is what this exam is specialized about. That gives you the entire breadth of what is there in AWS. So yes, that is why a lot of people fail in this exam and lose their $100. Don't be like that. Don't just think that this is a walk in the park and I can just go and just clear this exam. You won't be doing that. Now, if you're planning for this exam, let me give you some more hints and tips for that. Now, this exam now you can give at your home and is a proctored exam. That means somebody via the webcam will be watching you throughout the exam. And these exams, uh, proctor will ask you for a government ID. So make sure you keep with that. And also a special bonus tip since you have subscribed to the channel, I hope you have, is make sure that if you are giving this exam, there is no electronic equipment except your laptop is there. Uh, one of our students actually had to keep the remote control of the TV also in another room because Proctor asked it to so. Also, one more bonus tip, but before let me walk you through that what and how you can register for an exam in case you are looking forward with that. So. Once, assuming that you have prepared for at least two weeks for this exam, all the preparation material and everything, I will also start a long series on this channel. So hit that subscribe. That will help you to prepare for the cloud practitioner exam in the future videos. So make sure you hit subscribe for that as well. Now, in case you are looking forward with that, uh, go to AWS training. That's how you just go for it. Click on the certification tab and click on go to your account and then you can register the exam. This is how you register for AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Feel free to choose between PSI and Pearson View. Really easy to walk through with that. Once you click on with any one of them, then simply go ahead and choose that whether you want to give it as an offline center or online. Majority of the people these days are choosing for an online one. Yes, the proctored exam. Keep a government ID handy with you and just book a date and a slot for you. And again, it's a really super easy process and you have to select from where you are giving it and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel this one because I had to record this video a couple of number of times. So yes, cancel my scheduled exam. I'll just show you and walk you through that how you can actually go ahead and schedule it uh, again so that I can walk you through. This video took a lot of <laughs> attempts to record. Uh, probably something is wrong with my system. So again, it's a 120 minute exam. If you want more guide on that, let me know. I'll create a dedicated video about what type of questions are being asked, what's the format of all of that and all these details. 
just click on schedule and we'll continue for that yes we want to go for remote online that means i want to give it from my home but if there is a test center around pearson view or any other you can just choose that also i'll just click on continue for that and yes i want to select my exam language to be english and i also want to select my language as english now while creating the account if you have mentioned that my native language is hindi then you will give a little bit extra time in each of these exams otherwise some exam will give you less time but since they understand that your native language and the exam language is different, they give you additional time, which is always handy for the future exam. So just select a location. I live in this beautiful country known as India. So I'll select that. My country is not breadth rich, so it's a length rich. So I just have one time zone. Maybe you live in some country like Russia or something. Then obviously you have multiple time zones. Select with that. And then it will ask you to select your time zones, like uh, what time slot that you're looking up for. Depends on what date you are selecting, these could be less or more. For example, on 5th, there is very less, but on 7th, again, there are more. Just select the time slot and exam. Maybe you are ready to give it on 6.30 p.m. on 7th of this Wednesday, which probably most of you are not. But in case you are, then just click on continue. It will select and select that. And then it will ask you to make a payment. Booking created successfully. You can close this and will pay for it. Now, as of now, this exam is $100. Of course, with the tax, you can get $118. So make sure you prepare in advance for it. Don't just go for it because others have said it's a walk in the park. No, it's not. You'll fail in that. It will ask you for the breadth rich content of AWS. If you are uh, going to subscribe to this channel, you'll obviously prepare for this along with me in the upcoming few videos. So that is the start, a beautiful start of your cloud journey. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Let's catch up in the next video.